is the one thing that I think most revisionist historians don't recognize, that slavery is a universal institution until the modern world. Slavery existed in those Indian tribes here in North America, as well as in Central America and South America. During Columbus's first voyage, he treated the natives that he encountered with kindness, and the natives reciprocated. I have a quotation. This is his view about the natives. He said, I believe that in the world there are no better people or a better land. They love their neighbors as themselves. They have the sweetest speech in the world. They are gentle and always laughing. The warfare that existed in the Caribbean existed prior to Columbus. There was torture, there was cannibalism, there was genocide. The Caribs, who were cannibals, were at war with the Tainos, the more peaceful people that he first encountered. And he gets drawn into this conflict. And so he does things that, you know, repressing certain tribes that are warring with one another, but because he doesn't know what else to do. We see a reality that's a tragedy, but not a tragedy that was necessarily caused by desire on the part of him or other people to kill people, to enslave them. That's something other than Columbus himself. The question of whether or not Columbus owned slaves, no, he did not own slaves. The idea that he somehow came with this design for slavery that would eat at the heart of our country like a cancer till today is just false. <laughs>